Hey everyone, this is Abdul Hamid. Welcome to my channel. I'm making this video after a long break. I was a bit busy in my life, so I'm back again. So today I'm showing you guys how to create this uh, video. You can use uh, any compositing editing software that uh, supports uh, masking tool. So I'm using After Effects. Uh, you can use uh, whatever you want. So without further talking, let's jump into the tutorial. So here I am in After Effects, I have already created a composition and this is my raw video. Here it is, I am going to drag it down into the comp. So the video resolution is 1080 but my composition resolution is 720. So what I am going to do is just right click, go to transform and fit to comp. So here is the video crop to 720 resolution. So first of all let me walk you through the video how I recorded it. So uh, here I have a plain page uh, and I'm drawing the lines like this. I'm just drawing uh, random lines like this. Uh, you must uh, try your best to not move the page or, or uh, the notebook uh, from its uh, initial position. It should stay uh, where it is uh, throughout the video. So when I'm dr done drawing, I put the pencil away. But I keep everything stationary. I don't move anything. Uh, just try uh, your best to move uh, nothing, not even my hand. So then I go and pick the piece of paper right uh, right here and place it on the lines so here i've placed the piece of paper on the line then I move uh, my hand back of the frame uh, like I did uh, when I was uh, done drawing. So everything is same in the frame right now except the piece of paper. Uh, I added it later. Nothing else has moved. After placing the paper I move my hand back into the frame and pick up the paper. One thing you should keep in your mind is try to use soft lights uh, so it doesn't create any sharp shadows uh, that may create uh, some problem for you. So I'm using soft lights and the shadows around my hand, uh, beneath my hand, beneath the uh, paper are all, are all soft. So now let's turn this video into magic. First of all I'm gonna go to the point where I start drawing right here. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, select uh, the video and then press Ctrl Shift D. Uh, what it's gonna do is uh, just split uh, the video into two separate layers. This is the point where I start uh, drawing. Now let's go to the point where I stop drawing. So this seems fine. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. Control Shift D. So this middle layer, this middle video, uh, is all I'm drawing on the paper. So from start towards the end. So it's kind of a slow and long. What I'm gonna do is just increase the speed of the video. For that, I'm just gonna select the video uh, right here. Right click, go to time, time stretch and change uh, the stretch factor from 100 to 30. Now bring that video towards the left right like this. Uh, now let's go to end of the video where we have uh, the paper piece uh, on the lines. So here it is. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just duplicate this layer by uh, pressing Ctrl D and just uh, and now uh, right clicking on the layer go to time freeze frame so we have frozen this video into one single frame what I'm gonna do is just uh, go to the uh, go to the start of uh, the second layer right here and place the frozen uh, frame above it 
like this now just name these layers right here I have named all the four layers this is video 1 this is the drawing this is video 2 and this is freeze frame so let's uh, just go to the freeze frame and press T for opacity and bring it down like this I'm just gonna put it on 35 right now after that go to pen tool select freeze frame and create a mask like this select freeze frame and press M to bring down the mask after that uh, press the stopwatch to create a keyframe for the mask now go to the mask uh, uh, in front of the mask you, you would see uh, uh, add written there just click on it and change it to none so we can see both the videos at the same time we'll change it uh, back to add uh, when we are done with the keyframes of mask bar now uh, just go frame by frame uh, and follow the pencil to go one frame ahead press page down to go one frame back uh, press page up so page down one frame ahead so I'm just gonna follow the pencil So as you can see I have made all these keyframes as the pencil moves ahead uh, my keyframes also moves ahead after that uh, just go to uh, the op opacity of freeze frame and bring it up to 100 then go to mask and change none to add so here we are So there are some uh, shadow color problems that could easily be solved in my case by just increasing the feather amount. So I'm just gonna press F in freeze frame and uh, here bring up the feather. After that uh, I'm just gonna double press MM and play with mask uh, expansion. play with mask expansion value and feather value until you find it uh, good enough so for me th this is good enough right now now let's hide the freeze frame now select uh, video 2 uh, from the point where it starts go about uh, 3 or 4 seconds press ctrl shift D we need these 3 4 seconds after that uh, select video 3 that we just created and then go to the point in video 3 where now go to the point in video 3 where I pick up uh, the piece of paper here it is now trim uh, trim this video 3 towards here now bring this video over the video 2 Now go to video 3 and uh, press T for opacity, bring it down to 0, create a keyframe, uh, go right here uh, where the video 2 ends and bring the opacity of video 3 uh, back to 100. So 
so uh, the only reason I did this uh, because uh, I had some shadow problems in here uh, in this video and in this video the shadow was in on this side but uh, at the video 3 the shadow moves to this side so I wanted a smooth transition from uh, from one footage to, uh, towards the other if uh, if I hadn't done this uh, the video would look weird and uh, you would easily spot uh, the transition now enable back uh, the freeze frame right here after that select the freeze frame layer right uh, up here somewhere here and uh, go to T opacity create a keyframe and uh, put it uh, on 100% now go ahead a bit right here and change its value to 0 right before the hand moves back into the frame uh, you have to uh, make uh, a smooth transition of uh, uh, this layer disappearing thanks for stopping by and watching my videos uh, if you are subscribed well done uh, just uh, click the like button and comment down what you think about my channel and what tutorials you want in future if you are not subscribed already just uh, press the subscribe button and also go and check out my other channel it's called Pakhtun Geek uh, it's about geeky stuff so that's all for today thanks for watching signing out peace